Did the old prophets actually meet angels on top of mountains, or were they highly intelligent beings from a galaxy far, far away? Welcome to Ufology, where we explore the truth about alien life, because let's face it, we're not alone, and the evidence is everywhere. In today's video, we're going to take a look at three times alien skulls were discovered. As mentioned in previous videos, there have been many discoveries of alien artifacts by archaeologists. These aren't common finds, and uncovering an actual alien skull is even rarer. And yet, quite a few of them have popped up over the years. These skulls were found all across the world, from Peru to China. They all share a common trait, an elongated head. If you're curious to find out more, let's get started. First, we have the Paracas skulls, discovered in 2012 in the Paracas region of Peru. South America is no stranger to the discovery of elongated skulls. Since 1927, hundreds of these skulls have been uncovered there. Many of them are in surprisingly intact condition. But what makes the Paracas skulls unique is that there are no cranial sutures. In layman's terms, the skull isn't a single large piece of bone. It's composed of multiple parts, including two cranial bones at the top. As humans grow, those bones fuse. This leaves a jagged line running across the skull. But these Paracas skulls don't have that line. Why? Maybe they didn't belong to humans. The skulls also have a host of other unusual features. Expert Brian Forrester states that the brain capacity of these skulls is larger than the human average. While it could be a result of ritual deformation, analysis has determined that this isn't the case. These beings with larger brains were apparently born that way. They also had unusually shaped eye sockets. At the top of the skulls, there are also two tiny holes where the cranial suture should be. But that's not all. After a series of DNA tests on one of the skulls, experts found that it's not even Peruvian in origin. Instead, the skull is Scottish. European colonization of the Americas wouldn't occur for another 1,500 years from the date of the skull's origin. So how did a Scottish man get to Peru and die there? There have been multiple theories put forth online about these skulls. Some people say the same aliens visited various cultures across the world. These aliens helped them build their civilizations. We covered this topic in some of our previous videos. Check out the links at the end. These aliens may have sent one of their own, or a hybrid, to Peru to aid the natives. Anthropology professor Melissa Murphy disputes these claims, though. She states that pre-Hispanic peoples in Peru and elsewhere engaged in head elongation for thousands of years. It was supposedly a form of cultural modification of the body. This was done to mark different things like one's identity, a rite of passage, or an occupation. The DNA samples acquired by Forrester were also stored in less than ideal conditions. This may have caused degradation and contamination, creating weird DNA readings. Apart from the Americas, unusual elongated skulls have also been found in Europe. Southern Germany in particular has yielded a treasure trove of them. These skulls were first found in Bavaria around the late 1960s. Dating back to 500 AD, the skulls are all from women in bridal attire. They show an elongation similar to those found around the world, like the previous example in Peru. But the thing is, Europe never had a prevalent culture of head elongation. Krishna Virama suggests that barbarian tribes may have kidnapped exotic women from elsewhere. They would have been taken as brides. But that still raises the question, where did they find these women? Speculation is that these were Hun women. The Huns were a nomadic 4th to 6th century culture that lived in Eastern Europe and Central Asia. Culturally, they had more in common with Asia, which did have some instances of ritual head elongation. Another theory claims these long-headed brides were Bulgarians and Romanians. These brides were married off for political alliances. The head deformation would have been carried out from a very young age, 
as a form of status marker. Either way, there's no clear consensus on whom the Bavarian skulls belong to, or if they were even human to begin with. Conspiracy theorists believe that aliens intermarried with the locals, producing these hybrid brides who later spread out across Europe. Some of them may have been full-blooded aliens too. Lastly, the Hotamuga archaeological site in China also has some interesting findings. From 2011 to 2015, archaeologists unveiled 14 skeletons, 11 of which had elongated skulls. These skeletons were of mixed gender, ranging in age from 3 years old to as old as 40. The Hotamuga skeletons may be the oldest skeletons showing evidence of head elongation. One skeleton dated back to at least 12,000 years ago, while most of the others were roughly from 6,000 to 5,000 years ago. Aside from that, these skeletons also have flattened bones at the front and back of the head. Most specimens from other cultures only possess elongated skulls without other body modifications. Given their age, these could be the ancestors of the other strangely shaped skeletons. A common theory is that people with elongated skulls first emerged in East Asia. From there, they spread elsewhere. Perhaps the flattened bones were an early genetic feature that later disappeared due to mixing and intermarriage. Professor Wang of Texas A&M University is skeptical though. He claims it is too early to tell whether these people originated in East Asia and spread elsewhere, or originated independently in different places. Regardless of the migratory habits of these strange people, one thing is clear. The fact that skulls found there span a period of 7,000 years is mind-blowing. Just think about it. No other archaeological site has shown evidence of the long-headed people living in one place uninterrupted for this long. For thousands of years, there were seemingly alien beings living among us. There is still much research and archaeology to be done in Hotamuka. Who knows what we'll uncover as that happens? It's safe to say that more and more unusual human remains will be discovered as time goes on. As we uncover more about these strange people with elongated heads, we come closer and closer to the truth. Have aliens been amongst us all along? It seems likely. Be sure to comment below on what your thoughts are, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to tune in next week.